Sharing a file, no matter the size, is now easier than ever. With your NAS up and running, and with a Quick Connect ID enabled, sending links to files is only a few clicks away. We'll start this guide in FileStation. FileStation is a file manager that runs within DiskStation Manager. You'll see many actions available from this tool, but in this video we'll be focusing on uploading, downloading, and sharing files. Uploading is quick and easy. From your computer's desktop, or from a file explorer or finder window, you can drag and drop files and folders into FileStation. After doing this, FileStation will ask what to do if a file or folder with the same name already exists. Since these are new files, it doesn't ultimately matter. Here I'll select to skip the upload if there is a conflict. When uploads finish, the DSM will provide notification of the completion. Clicking the new icon in the taskbar will show you upload activity. Now that we've added new files to our NAS, let's take a look at sharing the new files and folder. First, I'll click on my new file and folder while holding the control key for Windows or the command key on a Mac. Then, I'll right click one of the selected items or control click if on a Mac. If I wanted to download these items, I could do so from this menu, as well as a variety of other tasks. For now, I'll click Share File Links. From here, the system will give me shareable links, as well as a few options. First, we'll secure the transfer. There are a few ways to do this. You can lock the transfer to users or groups on the NAS, requiring that they input their login credentials before the download begins. Another option is to select friends from your social media accounts, requiring that they log in using their account for those services in order to access. In this case, I will simply set a password on the file. Another way to secure the file is to set a validity period. In this case, I will set the link to expire in one day. Now that I've got my links configured the way I want, I'll copy these to a notepad file. If you ever need to know what item each link is associated with, the order of the links matches the order of the file path box. Now let's see how each of these links behave when used. The first link is the folder I selected before. When someone clicks the link for the folder, they will get a prompt for a password. After putting in the correct password, the system will show a trimmed down version of FileStation with the contents of the folder. Here you can view them as a list, or as thumbnails for images. There are a few ways to download from this interface. I can double-click individual items to start a download, select some of the files, then right-click or control-click to download, or simply click the button to grab the whole folder. When downloading multiple items, the NAS will put the files into a zip container. Downloading a single file is much the same. However, the download will begin immediately once a correct password is entered. Or, if no password is set, the download will begin immediately after clicking the link. Going to the download folder for the web browser, we can see the files that were downloaded from the links. Quick Connect not only gives you easy access to your DSM remotely, it also enables great ways to share your data on your terms. Beyond files and folders, you can share playlists that your friends can listen to right from their browser with AudioStation, or the shopping list you just made in NoteStation. Check out our other videos to see other great things you can do with your NAS.